So today's forum was organised by the Bendigo Reconciliation Committee, which is made up of people from different organisations around Bendigo, Indigenous and non-Indigenous. And really today, the purpose of today's forum was really to think about how are we really progressing in achieving reconciliation in Bendigo. We've seen a lot of things changing, some things changing, but really, what has been that change? So today's forum was to get some discussion going about really reflecting on the, the depth of the reconciliation that has occurred. And so we talked about uh, reconciliation action plans, what have been the learnings from those, what have been the real impact. And we had a lot of discussion about cultural safety. How do we know our organisations are culturally safe for Aboriginal people? And how do we build cultural safety? So that was really the, the point of today's forum, was really start to dig a little deeper um, than, you know, into those questions. And to bring organisations, we particularly targeted, you know, CEOs and senior people, to provide an opportunity for organisations to have an exchange and discussion around that, and to get the perspective of Aboriginal people and organisations about how they think it's going. There's a recognition that things have progressed, People talk about, some of the Aboriginal people talk about their personal journey, what it was like 30 years ago to be an Aboriginal person in Bendigo or at school in Bendigo. Things have improved, but a long way to go. There's still a long, lot of work to do to really build reconciliation. Still a lot of work to do. This morning at the forum, we talked we heard from a lot of business leaders about what they were doing for reconciliation and it was really enlightening and really encouraging to hear that a lot of businesses and organizations like St. John of God, they had their rec reconciliation action plans and it really inspired me as a student to maybe in the future if I was ever the head of an organ organization to prioritize that as well. Yeah, a lot of people said, and I think it's quite true as well, that while we need to recognise the past and remember the past, that we also need to move on to the future and also have an idea of what we can do to like close the gap and make sure that there's a lot of cultural safety for Indigenous Australians that are local in Bendigo. Um, so we talked a lot about the idea that you can't understand another person's culture unless you understand your own. So we brainstormed a lot of different ideas about our own culture, only with not within our school, but like also within the broader kind of society of Australia and Bendigo. We had a lot of different um, ideas come out, and one of the main outcomes that we could implement at Bendigo Senior was a lot of different like paintings, Aboriginal paintings in like really visible areas that we could see signs with the Aboriginal language in them, just to just to make the Aboriginal culture are part of Bendigo Senior's culture as well. So today's activity has just shown me that Bendigo Senior Secondary College have a broad understanding of the reconciliation that's in process at the moment and the school intend to take it further which is really good to see. Um, the forum today showed us that the wider community of Bendigo are really trying 100% to break that gap between Indigenous Australians and non-Indigenous Australians, which as an Indigenous student really shows me a better future. Um, I think, John, the main, oh, well, there was a couple of things, is really that um, they're really open to discuss things. They're, they're interested in learn more, I think, which is really important, but also is that they, they want to take some actions about it. So it was lovely to be able to, within quite a short time, really, to, to be able to give them some questions and for them to have some time to talk about it and then think about what they can do here at, at Bendigo Senior. So, you know, I was really, um, yeah, pleased to work with them. Um, they were a very respectful um, group of young people. They were great listeners and they took on every question, I think, with enthusiasm. Yeah, sometimes that sort of stops people, but for them they seem to be, yeah, um, energetic and, and um, yeah, I was really pleased with the session this afternoon. Thank you.